Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ACB fully inscribed in a semicircle with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, AC is 4 times uh, square root of 14, whereas the line segment uh, CP is 18 and this uh, line segment PB is 8. And now our task is to calculate the value of x that represents the line segment OP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Before we do anything else, we must find the radius of this semicircle. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACB. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, B and C are uh, distinct uh, points uh, on a circle where the line AB is the diameter, then the angle uh, ACB is going to be a right uh, angle. As you can see in this uh, diagram, where uh, A, B and C are our distinct uh, points on the semicircle where uh, this uh, AB is the diameter. So no wonder this angle uh, ACB is going to be 90 degrees. So therefore our triangle uh, ACB is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem to calculate uh, this side length uh, AB of this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, a and this uh, side uh, bc as uh, lowercase b. And just keep in your mind that this uh, side length uh, bc is going to be 18 plus uh, 8 is going to make uh, 26 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula. So a in our case is uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 14 whole uh, square plus uh, b in our case is 26 uh, whole uh, square equal to c square. And now let's take care of this uh, square 4 times square root of 14 square is going to give us uh, 16 times 14 and that is going to be equal to 224. So therefore we got 224 plus 26 square is 676 equal to c square. So therefore c square turns out to be 900. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. We can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore our C value turns out to be positive 30. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, represented by this uh, lowercase c. So therefore our uh, side length uh, AB turns out to be 30. And now we can see that this uh, side length uh, AB is simply the diameter of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be equal to 30 as a diameter. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, radius of this semicircle as uh, lowercase r and this uh, lowercase uh, r as well. So therefore diameter is going to be 2 times r equals to 30. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our radius r turns out to be 15 units. And now our task is to calculate the value of x. So therefore we are going to be a little creative. So we are going to think outside the box. As you can see in this next diagram with the full circle with this a, b, as uh, its uh, diameter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, segment uh, OP. We are going to extend it uh, on uh, both ways on this way and uh, this way as uh, well. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, diameter uh, DE as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We know that uh, this uh, 
d o is the radius uh, of this uh, circle so this is uh, we know our radius is uh, 15 so this uh, side length uh, is uh, 15 and likewise uh, this side length uh, o e is uh, 15 units uh, as well so therefore this whole uh, side length uh, d p is going to be 15 plus x is going to become 15 plus uh, x and likewise uh, this line segment uh, p e is going to be this whole uh, distance uh, 15 and then uh, minus uh, x so that is going to become 15 minus uh, x and now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords theorem if two chords uh, intersect in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the chord uh, are uh, equal as you can see in this uh, diagram we have uh, two intersecting uh, chords such that this segment is uh, a this segment is uh, b this segment is c and this segment is uh, d and as a result we have uh, this formula a times b equal to c times d and now let's focus on our uh, this uh, diagram we got uh, these uh, two intersecting chords uh, c b and uh, d e now let me go ahead and label uh, these uh, segments a is going to be 18 b is uh, 8 c is 15 minus x uh, and this uh, d is going to be 15 plus x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula a in our case is uh, 18 times uh, b is 8 equal to c in our case is 15 minus x times 15 plus x now let's go ahead and multiply that is going to give us 144 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b times a plus b is going to be a square minus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore we're going to have 15 square minus x square so therefore this is going to be 144 equals to 225 minus x square let's go ahead and move this x square on the other side and likewise i'm going to move this 144 on the right hand side so therefore we are going to have uh, x square equals to 225 minus uh, 144 so therefore x square equals to 81 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore our x value turns out to be positive uh, 9 so thus our line segment uh, x turns out to be 9 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.